gusto niya mag-away yung dalawa. Kasi siya yung bagong salta sa bahay na yan. Na pwede mag-reinahan dyan. Diba? You can't. She must have matured. Is that a crime? Ano, kailangan si Bea forever 16? Paano mo saan sagutin ang bully na ganyan? Diba? Papatulan mo ba yun? Bea Alonzo at Marian Rivera, pinagsasabong ni Lolit Solis, hindi pinalagpas ng manager ni Bea Alonzo na si Shirley Kwan ang pangiintriga ni Lolit Soli sa career at personal life ni Bea. Pinalalabas daw ni Lolit na gusto ni Bea agawin ang trono ni Marian Rivera sa GMA7. Kilalang loyal si Lolit kay Marian. Si Bea ay bagong salta sa GMA7, ngunit itinuturing na Reyna noong siya ay nasa ABS-CBN. Si Marian Rivera ay itinuturing na kapuso primetime queen na walang kahanay sa kanyang network. Panay din ang birada ni Lolit na matanda na raw si Bea kaya raw iniwan ng boyfriend na si Gerald Anderson. Insecure si Bea kay Julia Barreto na mas bata at girlfriend gayon ni Gerald. Ang sagot ni Shirley Kwan dito sa Pep Exclusives. post siya si Manay Lolit na sinasabi niya na hindi magiging ray na si Bea ng GMA, hindi niya maaagaw kay, kay Maria. Precisely why we um, don't answer that. They want, so, uh, they want, gusto niya mag-awa yung dalawa. Kasi no matter how you answer that, di ba, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Eh. So it's best if that was one of those that we chose to ignore. Kasi baka may ma-achieve pa siya. We don't want her to achieve anything except silence from us. Diba? Kasi kami naman, we just signed without thinking na meron kaming aagawin or anything like that. Because whatever we say, it will, there will be a reaction to that. And in fact, ang um, purpose namin, the minute that we decided we're gonna sign up with Jim is, paano kaya natin kakaibiganin lahat? Paano natin ipaparamdam sa lahat that you want to be friends with them? Hindi yung paano natin ipaparamdam sa lahat na ikaw ang reina. No, it, it's not, it was not even in the conversation, not even in, you know, in, in your thinking. Bakit? ba diba? Ikaw yung bago dyan. Ikaw makisama. And she was willing to do that. And she understood it. She understood that those are certain things, certain steps she has to go through. Kasi siya yung bagong salta sa bahay na yan. Na pwede mag-reinahan dyan. Diba? You can't. You don't do it that way. You don't plan it that way. It's it's totally wrong. Yung comparison naman with Julia Barreto na kaya iniwan ni Gerald si Bea dahil mas matanda. Si Bea, mas bata, may mga ganun. So, personal na yun. Kayo, Rosa, yung mag-angit ng Rosa na gano'n. It's very personal. So, no matter what we say, Number one, we trust naman the public. Hindi naman bulag yung public because they're not... Maybe the bullies, they choose to be blind and just accuse you of whatever they feel like saying. Diba? I don't think the public, they're blind. They know how beautiful Bea is. Diba? Truth to say. Hindi siya lola. You know what I mean? She must have matured and gained a lot of wisdom through that. Everybody goes through that. Bakit? Bawal ba? Ano, kailangan si Bea forever 16? At hindi eh. We go through the process. We mature. We age. Is that a crime? Paano mo saan sagutin ang bully na ganyan? ba? Diba? Papatulan mo ba yon? I don't think we want to go down that level. We will never go down that level. Sa Instagram posts ni Lolit, October 2022, Inirereklamo ni Lolit na si Bea Umano ang may pakana ng natatanggap niyang death threats sa Instagram. Ipinakita ni Lolit ang screenshots ng mga mensahe ng bashers na galing daw sa fans ni Bea. Sinagot din ni Shirley ang issue na ito. The truth of the matter is, Bea's fans and supporters are already so mad. Okay, I just, we just try our best to calm them down. So I have no control over that. And if only, you know, the thing is police are really the, the biggest cowards. I believe that. Because you you want to, to give punches, but you 
you're, you're too scared to receive punches back. Why do I say that? Why did you deactivate your comments section in your IG? All these comments are not on her IGs. I've been seeing all these comments months and months ago and no good wishes for her. Nothing. No good wish. This is not new. Okay? These are people expressing their anger and their frustration over a bully. And that's also why I have to speak up because I owe it to the fans and supporters of Bea that they are the ones who are giving Bea really uh, a lot of fighting spirit about this and facing all this and giving her reason to smile despite being bullied relentlessly with such vile toxicity in her language and crude and press. You don't do that. And at this age, when we are promoting women, supporting women, to give women empowerment, a woman is trying to destroy another woman just trying to work hard. You know? Doing a, a job that she loves and she's dedicated to. What, what's the purpose? You just want to destroy this woman? And when you're not successful, you become the victim, you change the narrative, and you make people believe that you're the victim. That's, that's a really uh, classic sign of bullies, classic attitude of bullies. Sa Instagram post ni Lolit, sinabi niya na ang punot dulo ng issue nila ni Bea ay nang magkomento si Lolit na hindi bagay kay Bea ang role nito sa Startup PH. Ang Startup PH ang Pinoy version ng isang sikat na South Korean drama at ito rin ang pinakaunang teleserye ni Bea sa GMA7. Sabi pa ni Lolit, patola ang kampo ni Bea na nag-react at pinersonal ang tirada niya. Ano ang nireact? Can you have a proof that we reacted? We'd never reacted. We wanted to, but no, we're not going there. Opinion niya yun. Okay? And she wants to keep repeating that until it becomes everybody else's opinion. But it didn't happen. You think pag sinabi namin tumigil ka, titigil siya? Hindi, no? Hindi. So we will not even go there. Pero, at least, kami, ayan ang totoo. At hindi na yung kapatulang yun. Ayan na natin. Kasi, baka kaligayaan niya yun. Well, it's common knowledge in the industry, maski siya mismo, inaamin niya na meron siyang ghostwriters. Inaamin naman niya, it's not naman a secret eh. Hindi, hindi naman ang gagaling sa akin. 